There is a, a library that was closed for almost two years and it finally reopened and the friends of the library were having a huge clearance sale because now they are going to redo their area and so I knew I wanted to go to the book sale and so I have some footage to show you and I hope that you enjoy. that you enjoyed that tour of all those books that they have for sale. I for sure grabbed quite a few and some of them I want to just use for decorative purposes. So I was on the search for books that were a shorter, so not like your normal, like this is like a normal hardback, right? They have some that are about this tall that are hardback. So I was looking for those with black like covers not like the actual jacket but if you were to take the cover off the book and you have just like the naked book I wanted it to be just black so I found a lot of them I think I found about 13 of them that I got and those books were all a dollar like on sale for a dollar they're normally two dollars they're selling them for a dollar so there's that and then I had got some other books. The paperbacks were like 50 cents and hardbacks were a dollar. So, so, you know, like the little books like this that are like, what are they called? Like the cozy mysteries, mass, ma that, that's what they are. Mass, mass market paperbacks. Those are usually like 50 cents at those used library sales. Um, so I thought since everything was half off, they were going to be 25 cents, right? So I picked out all my books and I only had so much cash on me and I go up to the register and she like rings it up and she's like, okay, you know, it'll be 1375 or something. And I was like, I was like, oh, 1375. I was like, oh, I calculated it to be like 1350. So this is just an example. I'm not like doing it for real. And then she's like, oh, uh, no. And I was like, oh, aren't these smaller ones 25 cents? And she was like, no, they're 50 cents. So I was like, oh. I was like, okay, well, then I'm 50 cents short because I only have this much cash on me. 
And then she was, then I was like, okay, let me just take these two out then. I'm like, I don't need to get these. I don't have enough money for them. Um, but then she was like, but I can't. And I was like, I was like, what do you mean? She's like, well, I already inputted them into the system and we can't undo it. So like, we have to have this much money. And I was like, okay, but I don't have, I don't have 50 cents on me. Right. Um, and I was like, let me go check my car because I was hoping maybe I didn't, you know, I have some loose change in my car, like a spare dollar or something. And I looked everywhere in my car and I found a penny. <laughs> so I was like, well, this isn't going to work. I was like, um, so I went back and I said, I don't have it. I was like, I don't have 50 cents. And then, you know what? I think it was actually, I was only 10 cents off. That's right. I was 10 cents off. So it was like thirteen seventy five, and I only had thirteen sixty five, something like that. But I found a penny, so I was technically only nine cents off. And so she was like, "You know what?" She's like, "I'll just I'll find nine cents somewhere." You know, she's like, "It's fine." She's like, "You just take it." You know, I'll write down that we're missing nine cents, and I'll like find it somewhere. Maybe I'll like see if someone has a dime or something. And I was like, "Okay, are you sure?" Because. Or I can just, like, leave it. And she was like, no, no, just take it. Like, I'll figure something out. So I didn't feel that bad because it was, like, nine cents. <laughs> so I was like, ah, okay. Um, and so I left. And then I was just like, oh. I was like, I just feel bad because I can tell that lady was really stressed because now her, like, her till is not going to be balanced. And she's going to have to, like, ask someone for ten cents. And anyway, I was just like, okay. So... I went to an ATM and I pulled out a 20 because, you know, that's the smallest bill I can get. And then I drove back to the library. So this was like 30 minutes after I left and I got there and <laughs> she didn't remember me because I went there and I was like, hey, I was like, well, I brought money so that, you know, I won't be nine cents short. She was like, oh, she's like, oh, good. She's like, I just, I just like balanced the drawer and we are missing nine cents. So thank you for coming back. Um, and I was like, okay, well, I only have a 20 though now, so I'm gonna, so like, God, I need change. And then she's like, oh, she's like, but I'm in the, but like, I'm in the middle of this thing, so I can't do anything. So she was like upset I didn't bring direct change, but I was like, what am I, what was I supposed to do? <laughs> you can't get nine cents in an ATM, you just, you know? Um, so, so. This girl was buying a bunch of books, I think, for her classroom, and she had, like, so they were waiting for her to finish organizing before she, like, paid, and then, so luckily, that lady, she's like, oh, just, why don't you just, like, print out the receipt, like, hit done and print out the receipt, and then I'll give you the cash, like, as soon as I'm done counting, and then, so the lady did that, and then I, I picked out some more books so that I could, you know, because it just, I found some more books I wanted because I had more cash. And, um, yeah, so then that was all done. So then I felt better, <laughs> but I was like, okay, note to self, maybe leave a couple dollars in your car or, you know, some quarters in the car so that I don't have to run into that issue again. Cause that, that was annoying. <laughs> uh, if only I knew ahead of time that I didn't have enough money, I could have saved myself. But anyway, I didn't, but so let me show you. This is one of the books I wanted, Snow White Ren Red Handed, A Fairy Tale Fatal Mystery by Maya Chance. And this is the first one in a series. I really wanted this one because I love fairy tales and I love cozy mysteries. And so I've never seen those two together. So I was excited about that. This one is Miss Ophelia Flax is a Victorian actress who knows all about making quick changes and even quicker exits. But to solve a fairy tale crime in the haunted black forest, she'll need more than a bit of charm. So it just sounds really cute. So let's see when this was published. 2014 and it is a first edition paperback. So I was excited for that one. And then we have a white colander crime by Victoria Hamilton. And this is a vintage kitchen mystery. And I wanted to get this one because it has a Christmas tree on the cover. And here we are in the end of November. It's almost December. So it's time to start getting some Christmas books ready. So this one is 
um, the Heritage was the Heritage Society is recreating a perfect Victorian Christmas until good tidings go bad. So these, I feel like they went together because they're both like Victorian, like style books. So, <laughs> and this one is kind of cool because it's got this cover on it. You can see here, there, you can see it has like a cover on it so that it's protected on the front and the back. So this had to have been an ex-library copy. That's all I can think. Aha, it is. Discarded in 2015. So it's been in the Friends Library uh, for, for a while. Six years. So I'm glad I have it now. So The Plot is Murder, a mystery bookshop mystery. A mystery bookshop mystery. Oh, a mystery bookshop. Do they have those? Is that a thing? A mystery bookshop? Because I would go there. Especially if they had these cute little puppies. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? This is by VM Burns. This one I just got because it looks cute. It looks up my alley, right? The small town of North Harbor is on the shores of Lake Michigan, and it is about to have a new mystery bookstore bookstore <laughs> but before the first customer can browse at shelves the store store owner is expected is suspected of a murder plot i can't talk anymore guys i'm getting over my cold still and i haven't been talking this much in a while so this one sounds good and then i got some books for daniel because they had a whole section of nonfiction. And he likes to read about like financial books and how to improve your life and like self-help and um, that kind of stuff. So they had a lot of good options. So I got Rescue Your Money, How to Invest Your Money During Tumultuous Times by Rick Edelman. And this is like a very small book. It's, um, looks very easy to read. Almost like a guide. So it's about investing. So Maybe I can even read this because it looks quite easy. Have a long-term focus when investing. It's just about stocks and stocks, portfolios. and Not really my thing, but... The Two Second Advantage, How to Succeed by Anticipating the Future Just Enough by Vivek Ranadive. The Two Second Advantage, How We Succeed by Anticipating the Future Just Enough by Vivek Ranadive and Kevin Manny. So this one was sounded good because it says, what made Wayne Gretzky the greatest hockey player of all time wasn't his speed or accuracy of his shots, but his ability to predict where the puck was going to be an instant before it arrived. So this is about just looking forward enough in life to know where you're going. The Couple's Guide to Financial Compatibility, so by Jeff Motsky. So this one I just thought was interesting because, you know, like Daniel and I have been together for years now and we're engaged to be married. And I think finances is something that every couple should kind of go through together and be on the same page about. So this is like a couple's guide for like how to align financially and stuff like that. So. I thought this was interesting. That would be a fun book to get, to do. And then a book I got that I knew he wanted to read, The Millionaire Next Door by Thomas J. Stanley and William D. Danko. Danko. So, <laughs> not quite sure what this is about, but I think it's about, let's see. This is about how people got rich in America. So, about um yeah so I don't know why he wanted to read this but it was one that he said he wanted to read and I was like hey they have this do you want me to grab it he said yeah so it looks interesting I like the cover it just looks like a big dollar bill <laughs> looks like it can be a fast read too it's not that long so it's just a really interesting there's that. 
So those are all the books that I picked up when I was at the library sale and I'm kind of excited to read some of them. I hope Daniel's excited to read the books I found for him and so <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video later. Bye!